A British newspaper has reported that the defence middleman Sanjay Bandari has applied for political asylum in Britain and has also filed a 92 crore rupees claim against the French defence company Thales in a French court, which could jeopardise future sales of Rafale aircraft to India. The middleman has claimed that the French company still owes him 92 crore rupees commission, as he facilitated a meeting with a top defence ministry official in 2011, in connection with the 2.4 billion euro contract signed by the Congress government in the year 2011, to upgrade the Mirage 2000 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force. He also said, that he was close to the Congress party, but the ruling BJP party began persecuting him after coming to power, after which he escaped to the United Kingdom. A joint team of the US Navy and Boeing did a site inspection of the shore-based test facility at the INS Hunza in December 2021. An important factor that favours the F-18 is that it can fit the lift of both the Indian aircraft carriers with folded wings, but the Rafale M will only fit the carrier lift after the wingtips of the aircraft are removed, as the span is more than that of a folded F-18 aircraft. Aviation experts have said that an adapter platform will have to be fitted for F-18, as it allows faster movement of aircraft from lower deck to flight deck under combat and high seas condition. The final decision will be taken after considering the account of license maintenance and spare parts issues, and also keeping in mind India's strategic autonomy and operational readiness. India has issued a no-time warning for the launch of an experimental flight vehicle over the Bay of Bengal, for the period from 19 to 21 January 2022. The designated area is 780 km, and it is for the test of the 800 km range BrahMos extended range missile, that will be a significant leap forward for the BrahMos project, and will prove to be a significant boost to the strike capability of the Indian Armed Forces. Russian media has reported, that the second frigate of Project 11356 INS Tumala, that is being built at Russia's Yantar shipyard for the Indian Navy, is currently completing the slipway stage of hull formation and equipment loading, and the frigate will be launched this year. The first frigate that was launched in November 2021, is also under completion. The DRDO has successfully flight-tested the 2.5 km range man-portable anti-tank guided missile in its final deliverable configuration, and the missile impacted the designated target and destroyed it. Officials have said that the test was carried out to prove the consistent performance for the minimum range, as the missile has already proved its performance for the maximum range in earlier tests, and this missile is now ready to enter serial production. It has a miniaturized infrared imaging seeker and advanced avionics for onboard control and guidance. Private sector firm SSS Defense had emerged as the lowest bidder to supply 24 modification kits for AK-47 rifles to the southwestern command of the Indian Army. The bid has now been awarded to SSS Defense, and the deal for 24 units of modification kits will cost around 24.5 lakh rupees. The munitions India Limited that has recently been carved out of the Ordnance Factory, has started production of the 500 kg general purpose bomb, and the factory has started filling of the first two units yesterday. Officials have said that it can be equipped on the Su-30 and Jaguar strike aircraft, and only one munition is enough for an entire airport, bullet trains, big bridges and highly protected bunkers. Malvia National Institute of Technology has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Indian Air Force, for carrying out development and research projects, and will boost the efforts by base repair depots of maintenance command. The institute has already completed defense-related research projects worth more than 1 crore rupees. 
China has unveiled a new 120mm self-propelled mortar system, that is mounted on a 6x6 vehicle, which is equipped with an inertial navigation system and a battlefield control system, and this platform will also be available for export. China has claimed, that the process of aiming by calculating the coordinates of the target takes only 30 seconds. Oh, Mark, drop it.